Hey everybody. So welcome along. I'm just doing a little live because I fancied it because I was just talking actually. Um, well, actually, actually start at the beginning. This morning I was listening to some audios on the way to the dog park because I was there quite early. Then I went for breakfast with my mum and oh, loud dog snoring in the background. Then I went for breakfast with my mum and actually was talking to her about this as well. Plus um, I was then talking to um, a couple of people in my team about this this morning too. And it's just one of those things that I don't know about you and I'm talking to anybody out there right now who feels stuck, feels stuck where they are, feels like they are trapped, feels like, you know, and I'm not just talking about work. I'm talking about in any situation, you know, do you feel, are you in that sort of place where you just feel like you're going through Groundhog Day? You cannot see a way out of the repetitive pattern that you're in and you don't, you maybe don't even know where you want to go, but you know that you want to go somewhere, but you're not sure where it is. And, you know, if that's you, then I just want to say, I totally relate to that because I remember a time not so long ago where, I, I just kind of knew that there was somewhere I needed to be going or something I needed to be doing, but I couldn't connect the dots to where it is. And I think sometimes it is just really, really hard to do that. And it depends on your personality. It depends on the type of person you are. Are you like um, the sort of person who has to know every single reason to do something? You have to examine the ins and outs of, and the arseholes of everything before you take a step forward. Or are you that sort of person where you just jump in and figure the details out later? Because either way, it has its benefits and drawbacks. And I'm not just talking about, like I say, business. I'm talking about anything in life. So I just want to just say to you, anybody out there, as I say now, who can relate to what I've just said about feeling like you're in that repetitive place of not knowing where you want to be. And, you know, I think quite often we are faced with opportunities or faced with steps that we can take to get ourselves out of it. And fear holds us back. And this is where vision is so important. And you have to have a vision of where, you know, even if it's not clear of what your feelings are going to be like, what your intention is, you have to sort of see that before you can even worry about the details of how to get there. So talking to anyone out there right now who's feeling like that. So I want you to imagine two doors in your life. Okay. Well, not in your life, but two doors in front of you. And where you're standing right now is where you are. Obviously, that's where you are. And then you've got one door, which is the door of you not taking action. It's the door, it's the door that basically whatever the change is in the future, you know, obviously I do business coaching. So, you know, often it's about people taking those everyday, what seem like monotonous steps to get to a vision in the future that they have that's very clear for their business. So I want you to imagine that first door is the door where you don't take any action. It's where you are staying where you are. It's it's the door where you, you know, this might be totally relatable to you, where you get up, you go to work, you work with the same people, you're earning the same salary, you're doing the same task day in, day out. You're not given the opportunity to learn. You're not given the chance to get creative. You're not incentivized. You're not, you know, this is, this is obviously business side of things. Um, it could be that. It could be your personal life. It could be you're in a relationship where you don't feel fulfilled, where you don't feel it's going anywhere, where you feel like you're just literally working from one weekend to the next and there's no change to your life and you feel like you want more so that's the first door open that door and go in there that door is taking you five years into the future into a situation where the only thing that has changed is you're five years older in my case I'll probably be quite a bit more wrinkly <laughs> um probably carrying a little bit of extra weight through the wine and Prosecco that I would have consumed, but you know, humor aside, it's a, a, a door where you do nothing different. So I want you to walk through that door and really feel, feel how it feels. You're there, you're in your life five years in the future. You are in the same situation, perhaps you're in the same job, perhaps you're in the same relationship, perhaps you're in the same state of your body, which you might not be happy with. It could be a fitness thing that you're trying to, trying to sort of G up your, self to do so it could be any of those things and nothing has changed how does that feel how does that feel to think that five years however many days that three six nine twelve fifteen a lot of days a lot of hours thousands upon thousands of hours and days where you've just been doing the same thing over and over and guess what you're in the same place so that's door number one okay so again this is this could be business this could be job this could be um, fitness. It could be, a, a, you know, like um, a health goal. 
it could be a relationship situation any of those things you've been doing nothing different nothing's changed you don't have you've not made any sort of steps forward so you are basically just five years older that's the first door now I want you to come back from that door and I want you to go to the next door the next door is five years in the future where you've taken those daily steps and you've done something different a little bit you've tweaked it so it's kind of like and I got this down from Darren Hardy it's kind of like um starting off on a journey you're driving to Scotland and you just point your vehicle north yeah you're gonna get north but god knows where or you know just sort of tweaking the steering wheel here and there do you know what I mean is gonna put you on a different trajectory it's kind of like a boat I suppose it's probably a better analogy you're in a boat and you just change it a slight tiny bit 500 miles having just changed the steering wheel a little bit is going to put you in a completely different place than if you kept going straight so that's what i want you to think of in door two you're there in door two you've made changes you've seen you know you, you you've seen yourself doing different things every day to get to your goal so if it's a work related goal perhaps it's a business that you've been trying to grow perhaps it's um a health and wellness thing where you've been where you're feeling like what you're doing is not working Whatever it is, you're walking through that door and you've made the changes. And this door is five years in the future where you are different. You have managed to do something different. So for me, it could be five years in the future where I've helped hundreds of people start a business that's changed their lives, that made them feel better, that's grown them in confidence, that's given them the inspiration to go out and do what they want to do. That would be my five years in the future you know there's obviously lots of other personal things in there which I won't go into but you know that could be your goal or it could be um that you've you finally you know sort of trained to do three marathons or whatever it is or you've saved up enough money to to get yourself out of debt or you're in a relationship which now you are a lot happier in whatever it is walk through that door and really feel how it feels deep within your bones stay in that moment and imagine yourself how it feels for you what you've you know all those little things you've done was it worth it you're now in that place where you've got where you want to be was it worth it and if the answer is yes and you feel like breathing in that space for a moment that yes it was worth it then come back into the present and tell yourself that you're going to make those changes that you need to make. You're going to jump out of your comfort zone. You're going to apply for that job that you've wanted to do for ages that you know is completely different. You're going to start training um, you know, in fitness or whatever, whatever it is you want to do, you're going to go and get that qualification that's going to mean, mean you're going to have to go um, and do an open university course or go to night school or whatever the hell it is. You know? Or you're in that relationship where you're going to talk to that person about why you're not feeling fulfilled. Whatever it is, remember how amazing it felt in that place and actually take the steps to get there because that is what, you know, is, is, is all about. You don't get a rerun with life. And if you're not prepared to make those changes, you could be in day, day one, sorry, door one in five years in the future and nothing has changed. All that's happened is you're five years older or you're five years older and you've learned and you've grown and you've made those changes. And I'll just leave you with one little quote, which I absolutely adore from the amazing Helen Keller, which is the only thing worse than being blind is having sight, but no vision. And that is so, so true. If you don't have the vision and you don't have the, the sort of, you know, deep within your bones, the reason to do something, you're just going to carry on. And the worst thing is to be living with regret and wishing you'd done things you hadn't. So, yeah, that's what I want to talk about, because I've been talking to my mum about this. She's 77. She's at a point in her life where, you know, if she said to me this morning, you know, if there's any other stuff I want to do, I better hurry up and bloody do it pretty quick, <laughs> which made me chuckle. You shouldn't laugh. But, you know, um, and then obviously to people in business where they are maybe in, in, in my business where, you know, you have to do things every day and they're, they're sort of finding it a challenge to put the little bits of time in 10 minutes here, five minutes there to actually make those changes to get them to their goal in the future. And I think when you use that analogy of imagining yourself in five years, either having taken those actions or not, where do you want to be? Because if you're happy in door one, that's great. You don't have to want to go into door two. If you're happy at door one and you're happy having not made those changes, then wonderful. But if you know for sure, deep within your soul, deep within your bones, that you want more and you want to make those changes and you want to do those things that are going to get you to your vision, then for Christ's sake, bloody will do it. Don't let anything hold your back. Don't let anyone hold, don't let anyone hold you back and go through door two and make those changes. So that is all for me. I felt it was something quite important to talk about. That's why I whacked it on my business page today. So um, yeah, 
have a great day and yeah drop me a comment if there's something you want a little bit of help with or you'd like a bit of inspiration with or a book that I might be able to recommend or anything like that that could help you get you where you want to be then drop me a message because I'd love to help um, and if I can't help then hopefully I'll be able to put you in touch with someone who can so much love to you have a fabulous Thursday bye